Hello and welcome to the Global Transitions tutorial. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a basic understanding of what global transitions are and how to use them. So you know about regular old transitions, these little arrows going from state to state? Well, there is another type of transition called a global transition. Global transitions let you access any state in an FSM regardless of which state the FSM is currently at. So to show how this works, I'll put a set material color in here and we'll make it red first. And I'll call this state red. I'll add a new state and we'll set material color this time to green and we'll call this state green. Now here's the unique thing about global transitions. Instead of linking a transition over to this new state, we can add a global transition, making the state like its own little secluded island. Right click on the state, add global transition, system events, mouse down. And now you get this dark gray box with this arrow, which is our global transition. I'll press play. And you'll see that if I click on the cube, it goes over to this new state, even though we don't have any of those arrows explicitly running from the red state to the green state. This is useful because it will keep your graphs tidy. Here are two FSMs that do essentially the same thing, but one is obviously cleaner and easier to navigate. So in this video, we learned how global transitions are different from basic transitions and how to set them up in our own FSMs. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.